Highlights of the 1966 Minnesota State High School basketball tournament are on the air. Pass. Goes in. Shelper has it. 12 seconds left. He's dribbling it way out near the center jump circle. To the left side. To right with 8 seconds. 7. 6. 5. To the right side. Stellhouse jump shot with 3. It's short off the rim. Rebound. Jalopi. We go into overtime. These are the sounds of Williams Arena last night as he died and went from a tie to win the 1966 state basketball crown, 82 to 75 over Duluth East. In the next half hour, we'll have a review of the state tournament from start to finish, along with interviews with coaches and players on the tournament highlights for 66. of the Minnesota State Basketball Tournament are brought to you by AmChem. The folks who make Amabin for season-long weed control of most of the annual broadleaf weeds and grasses. Now, this is Maynard Spies inviting you to hear the highlights from Johnny Kundla, University of Minnesota basketball coach, and Sid Hartman of the Minneapolis Tribune. Well, John, what a tension-packed tournament. What are your thoughts as the cheers and crowd is toned down and you look back to the 1966 Classic? Well, I thought it was one of the best tournaments I've seen for a long time, Sid. Uh, you can't help admiring a team like Edina who had to play three uh, games in a row with tension packed right down to the last second of the ball game. Uh, uh, basketball in general it was uh, real good uh, passing, real good ball handling, a good outside shooting. Uh, every kind of defense uh, uh, in the game was shown. Uh, excellent coaching. Now, I thought it was an excellent tournament, and I don't think you could ask for a, a better championship ball game in Edina and Duluth East put on a Saturday night. Very good, John. Well, let's get started on our tournament highlights. Last Thursday, eight teams, all with hopes of carrying home that big trophy, started play at Williams Arena, even though the snow almost delayed the start of play. Representing Region 1 was Blooming Prairie, Region 2, Wyndham, Region 3, Hutchinson, Region 4, Moundsview, Region 5, Edina, Region 6, Henning, Region 7, Duluth East, and Region 8, Ada. Yes, sir. The first two teams to meet Thursday afternoon with Duluth East, coached by Joe Merkinich, against Ada, coached by Dennis Anderson. Before the game got underway, we asked Coach Dennis Anderson of Ada if Duluth East style of play would cause any problems. Well, we don't anticipate it well. Uh, we hope we can uh, cope with their zone press and uh, their uh, zone defense. Have you faced a lot of that during the season? Yes, uh, somewhat. Uh, we like to run with the ball, and this zone press is going to make us run with it, of course. So uh, we're uh, we're hoping we can get through it. We then asked our player Ken Pierce what his thoughts were about Duluth. Well, they're tough, but uh, I think we can do it. We're picked to lose, but we'll have to disprove this year. And again, that was to set the pace for the tournament of close action. Duluth East won the opener, 68 to 61. Both teams hit 25 field goals, but Ada fouled more, and that made the difference. The game was tied late in the third quarter, 50-50, to 50, when Duluth East Heinzen hit a free throw. Ada never led after that. After the game, we talked briefly with Coach Joe Merkinovich of Duluth East. We asked him to elaborate on the game. Well, we, they gave us all we wanted, Paul. We don't care for any more, believe me. Uh, you took advantage of some turnovers that Ada had uh, and uh, really turned them to your advantage because uh, Ada was sky high and really pressing, but then you came back sometimes and picked up that ball. Has this been your sort of uh, play all season long? Yeah, we have uh, we pressed uh, for three years uh, when we've used it at uh, times when we felt we've uh, needed a thing. So uh, we expect to be pressed. We play with Superior and Cloquet and those schools up there, and uh, they start pressing right out of your dressing room, you know. In the second game of the afternoon was Hutchinson coached by Art Ulrich against Moundsview coached by Jim Gessie. This was one game that was rated a toss-up by pre-game dopesters. We talked before the game to coach Jim Gessie and his star player, Tom Kunze. We asked Gessie if he thought Hutch would be tough. Well, uh, I suppose it is, uh, they will be because uh, they play just like we uh, play, and we're, we figure we're tough to play, so I suppose they will be too. Is there style? Is there anything special about their style that's tough? Uh, well, uh, they do exactly the same thing we do. They press full court, uh, man for man, and uh, play the same type of an offense and uh, try to rely on our speed. Uh, we try to do the same thing. Next, we asked Tom Kunze what actually happened to his team after finishing ninth in the Suburban League. Well, uh, the team just... Uh